The Bluetooth device is ready to tell. Big up the man, the ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to uh, Kelechi Tube. Just here to preview the match between uh, Arsenal and Chelsea with my babes. This is my babes. You know, I love Hello her so everyone. much. Like, like, like my, 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 my babes. <laughs> my babes. Uh, Sophie, you understand? Sophie is here. You understand? For the preview, you understand? Me, Arsenal, she, Chelsea. You know, you already know who's going to win. I'm just doing this for formality's sake. You understand? Nothing much. Just for formality. You understand? Troops loves it over there. No, he no, Lift Troops. He loves it. <laughs> Lift Troops. Troops is just. He just here. wants to take pictures of me all day long. Yeah, oh. yeah. He's just observing. He's an observer. He's just observing. <laughs> you understand? But we're welcome here. Um, uh, I say Troops. <laughs> Sophie. Yes. Ask no Chelsea. Yes. What do you think will happen? <clears throat> I think it's going to be an interesting game. Like we've said on my channel, we've done a preview on there. Yeah, 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 well. please, yeah, yeah. Watch um, the first part there. Yeah. On CFC Fan TV, yeah, we've yeah. done the first part on there. Um, listen, it's going to be... I love that, that's brilliant. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> and I thought she did like it, yeah, that's what I was doing. Really it's it's, it's going to be an interesting game. I don't expect it to be easy. I've never seen, no matter how good or bad our form has been, I, I fully expect us to concede a goal at the Emirates. I can't see how we won't, um, unless we just magically have some sort of transformation where we all, all of a sudden start playing you know better than we have done before we're likely to concede you have such a strong attacking force you know with Lacazette with Aubameyang you have such good fan, you know you have such good players up front um, although Aubameyang has been up the ball a little bit yeah but like, still uh, if I, over, said, over, I'm aware. but over hours <laughs> over <laughs> hours it, you win all day long so um, it is going to be an interest, it's just interesting game it is going to be different to the start of the season but I, I do have think we have a good chance of winning it, for me it all depends on what, what team Sari puts out because for me if he plays Hazard in that false number, nine, false number 9 position I don't think it's going to do us any benefits really? I've, I've chosen in my previews this week who I want to go up there so you have to go over and check, check really? in my really no, I, I think, I, think, be, I, think he'll, I mean he's good whether on the left or as a, I think as a it false worked nine. for City and that was it but that was a very tactical game and Arsenal no, he's, he's, how he's, gonna, he's going to be a tactical game as well I mean Emery's yeah, a tactical coach you, I mean, you, you, for you me, can't you put more somebody there. in that. No, you, no, he won't play. There, you either Giroud. choose somebody else in that false number, if you put or you there, put Giroud on. If you yeah. put Giroud, either you, you might go long ball. Yeah, either And or. we can cope with that at the moment. We can. So Giroud will go long ball. And it might be an emotional game for Giroud as well. So he might not be there. He's not there to revenge. We didn't treat him badly, so he won't be like an Adebayo. So he will just okay. be there taking it easy. So that's why I think putting someone like um, and getting the front three. I mean, Pedro Hazard and. Uh, I've, I've said I've said I'd Peace. rather have Pedro in that false number nine position, but I'd also wow. said that oh yeah, it's a new thing that me and Rory have been discussing. Just because if if, if I know Sarri he does is, the right and then wrong, he's thing. got an eye for a goal, and also it's not something that's been, that's been talked about by sorry anything mm. like that. But we as fans are just looking at it. If, you, if unless you put him there, and fans have been quite receptive to that. It's Hazard's a waste in that position, so we either we I'd either choose Giroud or somebody else because I think Hazard's we cannot afford to lose Hazard's ability on the on um, as a winger. It just it doesn't yeah, really but, make but sense. I mean, Pedro cannot hold up play, cannot hold up the ball. As I can, but, bringing but, other attackers into play. if, if you've been watching our last few games, we have not been a good side. The Newcastle game, even though we scored two great goals, and I, I, I praise Pedro and William for that, just ain't the same. Just, just, it's just been, it's been rubbish. But, I, yeah, but for me, I, mean, I, I, I know I've been talking about Chelsea, I've still talking about Arsenal. Um, for me, the problem with Chelsea is playing uh, Kante out of position. Play him yeah. there. Play he's four, not two, doing three, it because one. he's not doing it because he, Jorginho is crucial to a system. We, we 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 do we debate this weekly, don't we, Sammy? I mean, you can't be playing yeah, four, three, three. You, you can't do that. We can't. That's that's why I think we will win. Because if Kante is not sitting and breaking up the play, you expect him to be running up and down, give you one or two odd goals. Yeah, it's not going to work. So and that's I, why I think. And I am with you on that. I just think it's just been. Uh, we've we've had a sorry ball started off very well, and I think throughout the season. I think just too much. It was going well, and I, I think I think his system works. It, but it only it can only work up to a certain extent when you don't have a forward. At some point, you have to have a decent forward. Yeah. Every every team does, and we don't have that at the moment. So that's the only reason I'm worried. For and this that's game. why I'm surprised that um, what's his name uh, Bashwa is not coming back. I mean, it's just me like and Rory had this debate baffling. last week, and I was fuming. I didn't understand it. I thought it was ridiculous. If, if you want somebody who's the reason he didn't f fulfill his full potential at Chelsea, number one, he got loaned out, obviously, but secondly. Conte didn't like him. It's like if you go into any job and your manager doesn't like you. Yeah, you can do a good job to an extent, but other than that, you're gonna you're gonna feel a little bit disheartened by yeah, the whole, that but, whole situation. But, but I mean, sorry, should I give him a clean slate to say, okay, start afresh? Let me see you. Just like I mean, I keep mentioning, I'm not mentioning it will be because he's Nigerian. Well, everybody was expecting it will be to be sold, not me though, because I knew he was gonna stay, obviously. But but the manager came and gave him a new contract, gave me clean slate. Now he plays week in week out. It looks like the manager's main man. 
you know. So yeah, I mean, give the player a, a, a try, you know. And again, that's why on the flip side, that's why I also blame Emery. I'm like, you knew you, maybe you were not going to trust Ozil that much or Ramsey. What, so why didn't you sell them and then let's make yeah, the money? Yeah. And yeah, you're telling us that there's no money to spend, but you have players that you don't really trust that you say that they don't, they don't fit yeah. your system. Yeah. And what are they doing then? Then you should have sold them since. So I, I don't really get what's going on at the Arsenal. We have, we've, we've got our problems. The injuries, I mean, Rob Holding, no Rob Holding, and then you can see we're just conceding goals every yeah. day. You know, and who would have known that Rob Holding would be our best player? Yeah. Only the most inexperienced defender being the best defender. Yeah. Um, you look at the middle as well, Shaka has been very, very erratic. I think Torre has been maxing his mistakes. Yeah. But he's he's been good as well with our forward play. He, he's instrumental to our attack. So yeah. you can understand why he's starting, but... He's cost us a lot of games as well <laughs> on the, on the yeah. other side. So he's got his baggages, he's got his good sides. And um, yeah, we've got our problems. Personally, I know this one might say now might be an unpopular opinion, but I'm not, re- I'm not, I'm getting uncomfortable with this whole starting Lacazette and Abamayan together. I think one should come off in setting games from the bench. It's been working for us. Either of them coming on and scoring at Fulham or Manchester United, I can name so many of them. Yeah. You know, playing the two of them are. At West Ham, he just showed that, I mean, they were just not working together. I don't know what was happening. Abamayan was not there. Lacazette was not there. But we have the same so. problems, although. I mean, for instance, William hasn't had the best of seasons. Everyone's calling for him to leave, and then he popped up with a very good goal um, last weekend against Newcastle. So I think I think your best players are always going to dip you, in and out for... Keep, will you keep um, Hassan Odoi or William? I mean, Hassan Odoi is, is too good of a talent to let go. Yeah. If, if you're talking about... You'd, at this stage, mm. back in the day, maybe you wouldn't say Hudson Doyle would have been too young and too inexperienced. But I think the club realised now we've made we've made some good signings. We've also made some very bad signings over the over the seasons, and it would be ridiculous to let go of for such a young player. If Bayern want you, you know you're a good player. Mm-hmm. So to let him go would be ri- ri- such a stupid and ri- a ridiculous thing to do, all for the sake of thirty million or forty million, whatever they're going to offer now. Um, so yeah, I'd have to say Hudson Odoi at this point. He's been fantastic. He's played very well. He's such. He's, he's only eighteen, um, and he's and he's and he's doing a fantastic job. So I don't see how it doesn't make any sense to play. Yes, he scored. A, yes, Williams scored a good goal the weekend. Doesn't make, does, doesn't make any sense to play him over Hudson Odoi when Hudson Odoi actually is putting in the better performances. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And and that that, I mean, I, I, that really is I'm happy to agree with you. I'm happy I hope he plays you. against Arsenal. I've put him in my team. I mean, so. I mean he's he's scary pace man. Like. I mean, we watched him at the preseason game, and he was just tormenting. And I think eventually, as as it comes, he'll definitely start to getting goals. But I'm not too worried about him scoring goals. It's more yeah. more what the what they do, you know, to get the ball in the box. That's you know that should be their main. And of course, we need them to score goals because we haven't got four. But um, I, I I want him to develop as a player. Yeah, I and mean, hopefully, me personally, I hope that Ozil starts. For me, he plays better at home. He's got that freedom to express himself yeah. and the passes, and I think he plays well against Chelsea. So. I think hopefully, hopefully, whatever is going on behind the scenes, I don't know. I don't want to speculate, but he should resolve it. He should start, and then I mean, it's about it's the three It's going to be an interesting game, is it? It's going to be yes, a fantastic yeah. game. I mean, it's a we love we love a derby, yeah, don't yeah, we? Yeah, it is. No matter what you think, uh, whether we are fourth and fifth, we don't care. It's a derby, and I think we'll do well. I just go straight into the lineup um, for your side. Who do you, okay? The lineup is in the other vlog, isn't it? Mm. Yes, yeah, so let's but I'll give, you, I'll give you some clues then. I'll give you some, okay, give you some okay, clues. Okay, okay, okay. Give you some clues. Um, do you want me to give you my middle? I'll give you my middle. Okay. I've put Kante in. I've put Jorginho in. And I've also put in Kovacic. Now I think a lot of a lot of Chelsea fans, especially, would may have preferred that I put Barkley in there. And by no means has he done anything wrong. I think Ross Barkley has, has, has been a very good player. I think also it's been lovely to be able to rotate between the two. Mm. I think it's been Barkley wonderful. Barkley in place of who? Um, in Kovacic, they get they, they, they sort of they they, ro- they rotate. Yeah. Obviously, lot we do have lost cheek, but I think he's still injured, um, so we can't include him. But um, yeah, I think I think they're both fantastic options. I just think in this game because of how because of we're coming up against I mean, the Emirates is always a hard away day, and I want Kovacic in that game. I think he can I think he can contribute a huge amount, and I and I'm 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 fr- I'm, I'm looking I'm I what's the word excited nervous. Okay. Okay. I'll just give you my own um, on, yeah. lineup. Obviously, in goal with Leno. Um, I think we should play four two three one. I think we play free and more pacey football with that formation. Uh, a three five, a three four three or three five is mm-hmm. actually more conservative. So um, the back four, um, because of uh, 
the pace of uh, Pedro or William or whoever, yeah. I'm going to start Monreal because he's actually more defensive than Kolasinac. I know that truth when I've gone for Kolasinac, I didn't watch his own vlog. So please go and watch it both through TV <laughs> and CFC Fan TV. Go watch it. Um, a centre back pairing of um, Socrates and uh, Mustafi. The Mustafi yeah, has been same. yeah, and then uh, right back will be Bellerin. Yeah, um, we we'll put him in too. Okay. Um, okay, I know it's true, I don't like what I will say. I know he's in the background rocking somewhere. Um, Jaka will start. <laughs> but that's because you haven't got any other option, viable option, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I can play Torreira and Guendouzi. I think it's either Torreira, Guendouzi or Torreira, Jaka. If you play Jaka and Guendouzi, you're going to be having too many sideways passes. That's the problem. And that's what happened to us at West Ham. It was just too sideways. So, um, unless it's a necessity, maybe one is suspended and you know that, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, then we can understand. But um, sometimes he, he might even need to play Ramsey because he's been playing there for years. So, you can also play him and then drive forward. And he's a fantastic professional. He's been playing really well, yeah. Ramsey. So, why not? So, but I'll still go with the trusted and trusted pair of Jacques and Torreira. Um, so, it's a 4 2 3 will be. I'm not dropping Alex, it will be. I'm not, it's not because I'm Nigerian. But because he's the, probably the most consistent player at the moment for no, Arsenal. He's the, yeah, he's the only one playing. So I'll play him. I'll play Ozil in number 10. He plays well at home. It's he's a big game. Team. Yeah. Uh, on the right, like I said earlier, not as much as I'm not really much of a fan of uh, starting at the moment, of starting both strikers. But we don't have a Mkhitaryan. I think uh, Maitland-Nas has been a bit inconsistent as well, although he played well at Liverpool. So I won't have a choice than to put Abamayang there and then Lacazette to strike, in as much as I'm not really a fan anymore of starting the two of them uh, at the same time. So that's why I'll go for um, four, two, three, one. So, okay. um, yeah, let me know, <laughs> let me let know, what, know you what you think. think guys. <laughs> it's going to be an interesting game. Like, I've gone 2 1, you've gone 2 1, haven't you? Yes, yes. So Hopefully you won't be crying, you know, at the end of the shut. game. I'll come and sing Felici. for you as usual. We've getting along till this point. Okay, okay, okay. But okay, please, okay. guys, comment below and let us know if, if you think he's given you a decent team. Yeah. I think you've, you've put in an okay team yeah, there. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, guys. See you next time. Cheers. <laughs>